Here's my impact I'm using this week. It's in 30 caliber, 700 millimeter barrel with an Ernest Rowe carbon fiber barrel tensioner and a Huma Air dual hull version two transfer port and pellet probe. All right, we'll get it started with this guy who's standing out there nice and tall at about 85 yards and uh, held about three or four minutes. Let it go, center of the chest, never moved again. Here it is in slow motion. Watch the center of his chest right there, bam. You can just see the shock just ripple through that guy. That slug was still carrying probably close to full energy when it went through him. And uh, here it is in super slow motion, just to see that slug drop in, put a little arrow right there, and just boom, center of the chest. I mean, this guy was just done. He was lights out. All right, we got a quad right here. Saw four prairie dogs sitting on the same hill. Got ready, held four minutes, went right over his head. He got lucky, uh, or so he thought. We'll come back to him in a second. And we got this guy coming down onto the uh, onto the mound right here, and he just takes one right in the neck, goes right out his butt. Somehow, still finds the energy and instinct to just scurry down into the hole. But wait till you see that one in slow motion. He's a goner. This guy took a shot. He was done. Rolled in the hole. He was laying right there in the entrance of the hole when I went up there. That was number two. This is the guy I missed on the first shot, number three. And uh, yeah, shooting offhand. Here we go, holding four minutes, 80 yards. Just put it right in his back. He was dead. All right, switch to number four. Got this guy. Where is he? That was number three, the body laying there. Um, and number four, where is he? Sitting right there. He's a little closer, gonna hold three minutes for him and a miss. Looks like I need to hold a little less. And uh, boom, he just takes a shot. Somehow still scurries in, but he's dragging his guts in. He was also laying right there in the, in the mouth of the hole. Here's this guy coming in, slow motion, holding about four minutes, about 80 yards. Bam just ripples his body with that energy dump. I don't know how this guy ever moved. He was dead on his feet, but uh, somehow he just puts on the, the motor instinctively and uh, scurries into the hole. These prairie dogs are tough, man. They're tough little critters. They can take a lot of lead. Uh, so you can stop them, you know, hitting them right in the chest. Definitely stop them with a head shot, but I, I like a chest shot if I can get it. I just like dropping them with that big thud to the body. And uh, here he goes. Yep, he was laying there. Both of these guys were laying right there in the hole when I went up there. Here's number two in slow motion, holding about four minutes. Bam! I mean, he took a shot right through the shoulders. He was done. Let's go back to this guy. This was number four. Oh, no, this is number three. Oh, definitely a little far back, but I think it just traveled all the way through his body and he just never moved again. That's, that's what a 30 grand slug doing 94 foot pounds will do for you. This guy, he's quartering to me, so it kind of hit a little far back, right in the shoulder, but uh, here's the fourth prairie dog in slow motion. I think actually this is even slowed down to super slow motion. He took that shot, man, and hit a little far back. Still got all the way through his body. I mean, they're so tough and instinctive, even though he's dead, dragging his guts. You know, not a perfect shot, but I'm gonna show it to you guys.
All right, another guy sitting up here. I'm aiming dead on 50 yards, headshot. He was done. He's uh, pushing up daisies. Oh, he ducks right into it. He tries to pull a matrix, but my shot was a little low. Here it is in super slow motion. He just turns right into it, man. I've got him dead on at the base of the skull right here. And, uh, that's about where it hit, but he just turns his head. Actually, it was a little low. Oh man, look at that puff of dirt. These slugs going 935 feet per second, carrying about 90 plus foot pounds, they zip through with probably still uh, 90 foot pounds of energy. We got this guy sitting here pretty broadside. I'm gonna put it right in his shoulders. I like the body shot on him if they'll give it to me just for that reason. Look at that, just stone dead. If you put it right through both their lungs sideways and both front shoulders, they're just lights out. That's it. Here it is in super slow mo. Bam! You can just see that ripple through his entire body. Dead. All right, we got one sitting here at about 45 yards. This one's tricky because you got the fence there. Oh, look at that, laced it right through the fence. You, you can't get out and get up to that fence because they see you coming and they scatter. So you have to take the shot from where you're at. Luckily, I was able to get a pretty straight shot and just put it right through one of those little triangles and oh, oh, just rocked him to the core. I mean, he was just down instantly. Got another guy sitting out here right at 50 yards, which is, is where I'm zeroed, and I'm able to just put that one right in the front of his chest as he's looking at me. And uh, that one just, I didn't see that one exit, actually. Um, I'm using a lighter slug this time, the 47.2. Um, I had been using the 54s, and I've noticed that I'm not getting a complete pass through on all of them, but it's a nice little slug, it's opening up beautifully, and just, uh, Oh, there's my last victim right there. A couple of them are sitting down. I love the Donny FL. It just makes it so quiet. Sometimes when you hit one, they don't run anywhere. Sometimes when you miss one, they don't run anywhere. I love being able to be quiet with this much power. So I got a couple guys sitting up here and I forgot to put one in the, in the chamber. So throw one in right there. He's still sitting there, but he gets a little froggy and at this range, I know I can just pop it right in, a little bit for wind. Just no exit, full expansion. Uh, that's one of the things I like about these lighter slugs. About a minute for wind. Oh, full energy dump. He literally popped up, fell over, and was laying right there. And 40 yards. Oh dead to the head holding about two minutes under and just crushed him right in the skull if you look close at like two o'clock you can see a piece of his brain and skull go flying off into the distance there there's the exit hole done here it is in slow motion super slow motion right to the base of the skull in the ear hole prairie dog brains yeah that's effective got this little guy sitting here at about 30 yards and uh he just takes one right to the neck flips around a little bit i think i might need to put a second shot in him and i do but he was dead already anyways here it is in super slow motion. You can just see it go right in his neck. Feel the flowers and yep, shot to the head. This one was pretty gory, flips around a couple times. It literally blew part of his head off. I'm liking the lighter slugs. I'm getting better expansion and more damage. Here's the shot coming in hot. 
and oh you can just see bone and teeth and and then the bullet ricochet off down there still going full speed like i said there was a lot of damage took off a chunk of his head he was flopping a little bit but he was gone he was done Well, that's all the prairie dog carnage I have for you guys this week. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I thought I'd mix it up a little bit and do one with some commentary instead of just the music. But let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I'm always open to input. And as always, this is Jim Fisher with Colorado Airgun Enthusiasts. And we will see you on the next one.